hostile nation is using a heavily fortified oil platform as a staging area to conduct their operations against the international community. It's up to the good guys to board and secure the platform in order to put an end to this activity. The oil platform assault is the perfect scene for a video game firefight, but that setting didn't come from the mind of some developer. It came from history. If you join me for this special loadout video on the fictional XOF commandos, I'll show you the reality that they're based on. Expecting MAC-10, unconventional aiming methods, and SEAL Team 8. This video is based on the XOF, one of the militant bad guy groups from the game Metal Gear Solid. Introducing them in simple terms, they function as high level CIA funded bad guys that score off against the player, dramatically infiltrating and demolishing your offshore base, playing you for the fill you are, and following that up by liquidating the hospital you are recovering in in an attempt to finish you off. As alluded, the appearance of these XOF commandos as well as some of their actions in Metal Gear Solid are largely inspired by real world actors and situations during the Persian Gulf Wars. In fact, the gear of XOF is directly copied from old school images of SEAL Team 8 from the 90s conducting VBSS training, VBSS standing for Visit, Board, Search, and Seizure. In short, VBSS represents boarding actions and tactical assaults on anything waterborne. The Navy SEALs participated in multiple assaults on both Iranian and Iraqi oil rigs in the Gulf War from the 80s to the multiple invasions of Iraq. Without a doubt, those assaults are the inspiration behind the XOF, and it's quite unusual that you see a video game exhaust this much effort and detail to produce the perfect set of goons. Keep in mind, I did this loadout for fun, so there's going to be a lot of weird details. Consider this video purely for entertainment and inspiration but not necessarily for education. This fictional loadout does have its quirks and is completely achronistic as XOF starts to make use of the gear in this loadout from the mid 70s onward, when a lot of it didn't exist at the time. The strangest part of the setup is definitely the helmet. It's inspired by a combat vehicle crewman helmet for tankers, but it has all these strange air holes in it that are reminiscent of the Protec helmets that were more typically seen in use by SEAL teams. The CVC helmet is made of Kevlar, so I had to get some help from a friend in a diamond drill in order to make relatively clean cuts. The use of this weird helmet might be an effort to combine the SEAL team used Protec and the special flight crew helmets that were rigged to satellite linked Mad Pack radios or Motorola handhelds. Another strange aspect I noticed has to do with the contained air tanks that are used when XOF raided a hospital. Without getting into the ridiculous video game lore, the XOF planned to liquidate a fine healthcare facility and knew that it was going to catch fire. So they brought contained air so they could keep liquidating the patients, even as the building burned. While I've rigged a Scott 4.5 liter air system to myself, it seems like the oxygen system in use by XOF might be inspired by the dew point cutting torch carried by seals for breaches. With those two weird points out of the way, we can talk about the rest of the gear. The uniform I used is a standard tan Nomex flight suit that I've dyed gray. The armor and load bearing gear are both Squadron 2 shop replicas of an Armor of America TP1E and an American Body Armor tactical vest with MP5 pouches. The retainment system on these pouches is an absolutely terrible buckle system that makes quick mag changes a gigantic nightmare. But people worked with what they had back then, like funky 9mm submachine guns. For some reason, specifically in Metal Gear Solid 5, they've switched all the weapons to be hybrid abominations and combinations of real guns. So I've tried out a few different weapons in order to figure out what SMG would be handled best with this exaggerated mask shooting position that the XOF goons use while wearing their oxygen systems. The MAC-10, while resembling the in-game SMG more than many others, shoots at a rate that makes shooting full auto virtually impossible from the side aiming position. Though at least the gigantic old school laser box that runs out battery every 10 minutes does help with the more comfortable hip firing. We've had more success with the MP5SD and the Uzi. The former is quite controllable in virtually any position, and it's even possible to look down the sights by just pressing the weapon against the mask. In fact, I don't understand why XOFs blaze their weapons out this far. 
I know it's because of the masks they wear, but it really isn't necessary. There are many better ways to aim, like using the sling tension aiming method that the SAS had a habit of doing in the 80s. With the main stuff out of the way, what remains are the little details, like the M84 based grenades, Blackhawk repelling harness or repelling gloves, Nomex flight gloves, the forearm protector, as well as the old school Krupp skydiving goggles. All in all, this was a very fun side project, and really gave me a feel for the bullshit that people had to put up with because of their gear in the late part of the last century. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions on the finer aspects of this setup, and please, let me know what fictional loadout I should do next.